Today we're in Leviticus 16, and we're given a detailed description of the Day of Atonement, a solemn and important day for the people of God. You see, the importance of the Day of Atonement was underscored by God telling Moses to warn Aaron not to come into the most holy place whenever he felt like it. He could only come on this special day, once a year, as it says in verse 2, lest he die. See, this was not a ceremony to be taken lightly and the people to understand that the Day of Atonement was for sin, for it to be atoned before God. So it had to be done in God's way. And before entering the tabernacle, the high priest Aaron was to bathe and put on special garments, as it says in verse 4, and then perform the required sacrifices for sin. Every year, year after year, this atonement had to be made, showing that it was never completed. But in contrast, Jesus provides a finished work. Listen to what the author of Hebrews writes in Hebrews chapter 9, verses 24 through 28. For Christ did not enter into a holy place made with human hands, which was only a copy of the true one in heaven. He entered into heaven itself to appear now before God on our behalf. And he did not enter heaven to offer himself again and again like the high priest here on earth, who enters the most holy place year after year with the blood of an animal. And if that had been necessary, Christ would have had to die again and again ever since the world began. But now, once for all time, he has appeared at the end of the age to remove sin by his own death as a sacrifice. And just as each person is destined to die once, and after that comes judgment, so also Christ was offered once for all time as a sacrifice to take away the sins of many people. He will come again, not to deal with our sins, but to bring salvation to all who are eagerly waiting for him. See, this is a beautiful thing. We don't wait for an annual day of atonement. Our high priest, Jesus, is our complete sacrifice. And he has opened a way for us to have relationship and fellowship with God. Not one day a year, but every day of every year for the rest of our lives.